In this video, we have probably the best derivative rule that there is, the derivative of the exponential function. So the exponential function is e to the x. It's a special function. Um, this is how banks calculate interest a lot of the time is from base e. Um, so it's a very important number for real life. So it gets its own derivative rule. If you did the four-step process using the definition of a derivative, that limit definition, it would take a while. But there is a pattern to these because the derivative of e to the x is always e to the x. Doesn't get much better than that. So in this first example, we have three e to the x. So we have a constant multiple. We're gonna keep that constant multiple three but it doesn't change how we take the derivative. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we kept the constant multiple, derivative of e to the x is always e to the x. Next one is a little bit harder because of algebra making it harder. First thing I need to rewrite, I see something in the denominator that tells me it's a negative exponent. So I have x to the negative three, plus I have x under a fourth root, so that's to the first power and fourth root minus e to the x. Is that the final answer? No. We did not take the derivative yet. All we did was rewrite. Now we're ready for the derivative though. We'll bring down the power, negative three. X to the negative three minus one is negative four. Then we're gonna bring down the power again. We have one fourth. X to the, we need to do one fourth minus one, either in our calculator or off doing some side work. Minus one is minusing four over four. So one minus four is gonna be negative three. That's my new numerator. We have negative three fourths. Then they have to do minus, this is our new rule. What's the derivative of e to the x? It's e to the x. So new rule, but even easier, I think, than having to multiply and then subtract one for the power. So derivative of e to the x is e to the x.